just a, a, a wild a wild this morning the chief administrative officer of kabong district fred okelo appeared before the public accounts committee of parliament on local government to answer the queries raised in the auditors general's report there was conspiracy to defraud government or there was gross negligence and these are, these are areas we need to, to very critically analyze. According to the report, Jackson Construction Company, which had been contracted to construct the Carbon Council Chambers in April of 2021 and was expected to complete the project by June 28th, did not do any work even when they were given contract extensions. I found out that the contract was supposed to start on 9th April 2021 and end on 28th June 2021. However, by 28th June 2021, the contractor had not done the work. Now the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament is faulting the former Chief Administrative Officer of Kabong, Joel Musisi, for not following the PPDA contract agreement, which says that it's legal to release 100% payment to any contractor. According to the current cow, James Fred Okello, talks with the contractor to start work did not yield any results. What I, I did was to invite the contractor to a site meeting and uh, which he, he did not appear and he has not appeared up to now the contractor is very elusive mm. you communicate he, he sends on the on the day the meeting is supposed to be he sends a letter of regret he's unable to attend we are going to receive you communicate on phone he promises but he doesn't come up to now. Members of parliament sitting on the committee expressed their dismay on the matter, revealing that this was a case of a pure fraud. I think we need to move an extra mile and go to URSB to find out what the directors of this company. Is it really a genuine company? Kabong should be held responsible for the action that was taken to pay the money to the constructor, contractor before work was done. And Mr. Chairman, it is very, very shaming. It will be very shaming to us as a committee if nothing is done to the implementers of this wrong action. Speaking to the chairperson of the committee, Martin Ojerama Penduzi, the committee is going to carry out more investigation in the matter and that they will also intend to question the owners of the company. We have issued directive as, as a committee that on Tuesday next week, that particular cow needs to appear. We also need the, con the directors of the contractors because we need to establish uh, the, the, you know, the people behind this, this company. Why, why are they so indisciplined and they don't respect the district and how they ended up getting money 100%. You cannot uh, collect 360 million from the district and, and you don't want to even uh, uh, appear to them. The committee is now waiting to hear from the former chief administrative officer of Kabong, Joel Musisi, on the matter. Musisi is expected to appear before the committee on Tuesday to respond to the queries. Sarah Nakandi for CTV, Pium Edition.